G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out with Julie. Guess what? Purple Pearl Pour, PPP. -P -P. Now, this one was the blue one that I did with the silver pearls. So it dried beautifully. So um, yeah, I thought I've had so many um, requests for a purple one, so I thought I'll do that. And I've got the purple Extreme Sheen. It's called Amethyst Deco Art Extreme Sheen. Um, the other Deco Art works as well. Let me just grab a bottle. Um, it's the Deco Art Americana Decor, that one. So this works for pearls as well in the different colours. I don't know if other metallic paints work. I haven't tried it. So um, for those people that are asking me, do the other metallic paints work? I, I don't know. You'll probably just have to try them. Um, I know that these work. So, you know, stick to what you know works, I reckon. Otherwise, you've wasted a lot of paint and time and canvas and things if it doesn't work so if you know it works stick to it is what I reckon okay so we've got the purple there that's going to be my puddle in the middle and that is mixed equal parts with a flow troll um, it did feel a little bit thin to me the purple so I added an extra blob of purple paint hopefully it will be all right um, my black, I find that you do need the black for the contrast to help the pearls pop up. It is the um, Artist Loft black mixed equal parts with the Australian Floetrol and then a little splash of water. And then these three are Liquitex Basics. I have a pale pink which is called Medium Magenta and Acra Magenta and then dioxazine purple. I didn't want to make all purples because I don't think you'd even see that so I thought I'll oh, add some pinky tones to it and those Liquitex Basics are mixed two parts flow troll to one part paint and then a splash of water. Um, I did put up my little cheat sheet um, a few videos back with the pearl pores. I think it was the second red and gold one so you can check that one out um, and um, I actually gave you the instructions written down. Righto, let's get started. I'm going to, actually I thought the other thing I might try is um, three layers. Instead of two layers, I'm going to try for three. Just see what happens. Start with black. I like to start with black because I like the black centre. And then a light colour. Let's see if I can get three layers in. So I've never done that before. I've always done two layers. And then the purple and then the magenta see I didn't want to put them the purple next to the black because they're too similar I don't think you'd see the the purple so some more black there is a little bit more black than there is of the other colors because I do need the, the contrast of the black seems to be working with three layers well got enough paint anyway now this is where I will just Scrape the cup and use every last little bit of paint. This is a 30 by 40 centimeter canvas, which is 12 by 16 inch. Um, so I know exactly how much paint I need. You can't have too much, otherwise, you, you'll have too much sitting on the canvas and your pearls won't be able to pop up. So don't have too much. The Liquitex Basics, um, I've got. 30 grams of Floetrol, which is one ounce, 15 grams of paint, which is half an ounce. And there's three of those, three colors. Um, the black was 30 grams of black, 30 grams of Floetrol and a splash of water. So that's an ounce of each and a splash of water. Oh, the other thing, if you are using the American Flow Troll, you will have to add an extra splash of water because it's thicker than the Australian Flow Troll. So if you're following my recipe and it's not working, it's probably because your Flow Troll is thicker. So when I add a splash of water, which is five grams, you'll need to add 
two splashes maybe I don't know I haven't tried the American float so I couldn't say exactly but I would suggest that you use maybe 10 grams of water two splashes of of water um, so yeah that was the black an ounce of each um, and then the purple I started off with 40 grams of paint and 40 grams of flow troll but then I thought oh it's a bit thin now just some some colors are just thinner than others even though it's the same brand some will be thicker and some will be thinner so it just looked a little bit I hope I haven't made it too thick just looked a little bit too thick so I added an as uh, sorry thin so I added um, an extra blob of purple all right so let's pour this out it's been a while since I've done a purple pour purple pearl pour and I can't remember if it was a thin paint or a thick paint I can't remember I know because I used the um, turquoise as well for one of them that turns out really pretty I can't remember maybe that one was the thick one. Oh, I can't remember one of them was thick and one of them was thin and I had to change it around but anyway right so we've got our three layers in there starting with black finishing with black just gonna pour into the puddle um, I might sort of start up here and work my way down a little bit actually just to have a little bit of something different a little bit of a, a wandering jiggle pour <laughs> working my way down how's it look whether or not that's a good idea I don't know I'm experimenting today aren't I adding three layers doing a wandering jiggle paw oh who knows if it'll work just trying to get some more of the black out okay and pop your finger on the edge there so it doesn't drip now don't torch yet we're going to tilt right hopefully that works <laughs> certainly got oh see i've got all the magenta there because it was on the outside and a little bit there all right over 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 stop okay that's it here we go and back Oh, I've lost my middle there. I guess that was to be expected, wasn't it? <laughs> Didn't think about that. My center. Here we go. Over. You really need to stretch your paint out. And back. I'll turn it around so you can see. Back to the, uh, the middle and back to the opposite direction. Well, we're going to get a totally different look this time because of the way I did my my jiggle over it goes and back I'm starting to get pearls up already but I need to get which way oh I can't remember which way I was finishing did I finish here I can't remember okay I think that will do you can't keep tilting Otherwise, you're going to overstretch these pearls that have popped up already. So, at least we're getting pearls popping up. All right, so now is the time to torch. I've got my big boy blow torch, butane torch. Oh, something just flew in there. Okay, here we go. Torching time. So, try not to torch the very edges because you've already got pearls there. Torch inside those. Oh, look at that. I've got a big black center there, haven't I? Make it 
too close, you'll burn your paint. Just keep it moving, little circles. And then I'm gonna torch through the center as well, just to pop some bubbles. Unlikely to get um, pearls in the center though, because um, the paint hasn't rubbed over itself and then come back like the edges have. Not getting quite as many pearls up here. Might, uh, the side that you tip off last um, doesn't tend to have as, as many because over here you tip that and then it stretches all the way back again. But your last corner, you just sort of tip over and then you stretch back a little bit. So you don't get as many because you haven't gone all the way back again. And I don't want to tip more that way because then you disrupt your pearls that you've got. So you just have to kind of be happy with more on one side, unfortunately. Now I don't want to torch too much more because I can see that my paint's starting to sort of burn and um, kind of break up a little bit. So let's leave it at that. And I need to get my little palette knife and just run that underneath to stop the paint from flowing down because it's heavy on the sides and it wants to pull the other paint down. But this is where you can just fix up your corners as well if you've missed a little corner. I think I've pretty much got all my corners though. did pretty well on going over them, didn't I? Alright, so that's that. Um, I, I don't know if I prefer it like this, you know, with the wandering um, jiggle paw. I don't know. I guess I'm just used to doing it this way. And you can see more of those, the fingerlings. Um, whereas this way, it's much more kind of stretched out, isn't it? So we shall see what happens. Uh, and you can let me know which you prefer. There's always something in there. So anyway, I'm gonna put the camera on pause for about oh, 15 minutes, I guess. Um, and we'll come back and, and see how it's changed, how it's developed, if anything else is gonna pop through. Your metallic paint that you use tends to take on a little bit of the other colors around it. So this may, like it may pick up a little bit more of the dioxazine purple so that your pearls might be a little bit darker. If you're using gold, they may pick up, um, you know, a little bit of the black. Um, the silver one I did tended to pick up a little bit more of the blue. So that they can do that too. All right, I'm gonna put you on pause. I'm gonna clean up my mess and uh, I'll come back and see you shortly. It's been about oh, 15 minutes and we've had some more pearls pop up and the ones that were there initially have grown. So let's have a little look. I'm happy I added that extra blob of purple because I've got really nice round metallic purple pearls. Look at it over there against those pink stripes. Doesn't that look amazing? And then up there. Got a few against the dark there. And not many, I'm just gonna change, whoops. Oh, that's a bit, it's a bit much, isn't it? I'll stand back a bit. <laughs> it's very close up. I'm just going to turn my ring light off. I don't know if that's too close. It doesn't really show the colours 
as true as they are. I'm just going to go back out. That was just too close. <laughs> um, yep, so there, we, there they are. Gorgeous purple pearls. Nice and shimmery. Happy with the colours. Got some beautiful stripies there from the jiggle paw. And they've got like fingerlings on the ends. So yeah, they look really pretty. So let me know what you think of the wandering jiggle paw, whether it's worked or not. I don't know. I think I kind of like the other one, but hey, it's it's just different, isn't it? Nice to have a change. But you let me know what you think. Now, am I done with these pearl paws or are there more colours that you want me to do? Maybe green. Um, I'm pretty limited in what I've got in my Liquitex Basics colours, but I could possibly do a green one with maybe um, like a copper or a berry pearl. I can do that. Let me know if you want me to do that and then that'll be it. I'll move on to um, back to my flip cups and sandwich paws and swipes and things like that. Okay, hope you've enjoyed that and uh, I'll see you real soon for the next video. Okay, bye for now.